channel i'm so excited to be back on the tube definitely feels like i've not filmed in a hot minute but obviously you guys know that if you follow instagram though you know that i took some time off because um i just wanted to take time off um middle of the year i want to give myself a little break so that's what i did and just to also get into gear as well for the rest of this year because you know it's about to be lit i'm back today with a review video and today we are reviewing the urban decay born to run palette this palette definitely caused a lot of waves and excitement on the internet i think because it's a palette that seems to be it just seems to be the palette that seems to be able to do everything it can do you know give you a smoky eye a black a dark smoky eye a brown smoky eye a pink eye not not the disease a pink eye a bit of green a bit of blue so it really seems as if it's the sort of like all round palette and i guess obviously a lot of people trust urban decay in terms of just um quality of eyeshadows pigmentation uh, pigments and um longevity as well so i think it's sort of just like you know yes you know we have this palette that is ideal to take only with you if you travel you know you don't have to like pack many palettes you know when you travel like this could be the one that you just go with but we'll see i have used this palette before i've used a few colors when i was trying to create a look but i didn't just use the palette on its own I used it in conjunction with another palette um, but these are the colors here so as you can tell it really is a full house of shades we have your greens here you have your warm tones here some sh shadows for a smoky eye and everyday look like it really seems like it's the one and um, what I also like about this palette is that it's 800 Rand I was expecting a palette like this to be upwards of a thousand. Um, one, because of the brand associated with it that came out with it. And two, because the because of the amount of eyeshadows in this palette. I had been looking to purchase a palette which was an all-rounder sort of palette. And my eyes were set on the Violet Voss palette. I forget the name of it, but I'll have a picture of it here. And um, and locally, the palette is sells for 1,500 Rand. So that's where my pricing was in terms of like a palette that, you know, offers like so much. And um, I was really shocked that this was only 800 Rand. It might seem like a lot, but you get how many shadows? One, two, three, again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, 14, 21 eyeshadows for 800 Rand. I don't know, it just seems too good to be true, like, <laughs> but we're going to see, we're going to try and create a look. What I want to do is just um, have a base on my eye because I've done my foundation and everything. I'm, I, I'm off to an event, so I need this to actually look good. So I've moved you in a little bit closer. Um, I'm going to prep my eye with some concealer. Oh my God, so speaking of this palette, I got it because I went to an Urban Decay dinner and um i got to meet karen aka i love sarai guys i've been following her for like the longest time i got to meet her i literally i i literally was sitting it was karen sebastian her boyfriend and then me hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna set that with my Laura Mercier powder. So here we have the shadows. Now, looking at it, I already know like what I want my tr my transition shades to be and stuff. I did a green eyeshadow look for my birthday. I didn't know if I should use this palette to do it. I won't be able to achieve that look with this palette alone because. I really use the subculture palette a lot and I only dipped into this palette for like one color when a new shadow palette comes out and I try to like see what looks I can create with it I do like to go on Pinterest and search like looks created with the palette the trend right now is going for like a green so there's like this one here oh 
I'm not trying to click on it. There's like this one here, which I think is really pretty. But I really saw this one, which I think is so gorgeous. And I'm scared that I'm scared that it's going to lean towards too much of a sunset eye. But she has used orange at the top and purple underneath. It seems like so we're gonna go ahead and um, get our transition shades down and I'm gonna go in with the shade called riff this one over here I think another reason people will love this palette is obviously because it has a mirror inside it and the names of the shadows are written on the on the palette underneath each shadow because it seems like a lot of a lot of eyeshadow palettes don't even have that I saw the Kylie Jenner palette um, I think part of the summer collection I'm not just sure the red the red eyeshadow palette that they don't even have names for the shadows how do you forget such an important unless she was just lazy and didn't feel like coming up with names I also you'll see I've done my eyeshadow I mean my foundation because when I've used this palette before I did not experience any fallout so I feel confident in the fact that I can have eyeshadow on I mean makeup on foundation on and I'm not stress out yeah I don't know I really wanted to do a pink look I think when I showed the palettes on my insta stories everyone really commented about the pinks which were um a hell ride and wild at heart so I might do something with those and I think I'm gonna do something peachy in the middle in the center so it looks like we're going to be creating a halo eye my next shade i'm going to go for is called badger which is this orange here you can never get enough of an orange eye you know so we're just going slightly lower um on our crease area but still in the crease area and we're going to take this all the way in and keep that intensity going all the way in because we are creating a halo eye so we need the intensity to be the same from here to here so what I'm going to do right now is take my Urban Decay waterline pencil and go onto my waterline because I want to be doing my top and my bottom at the same time I'm going to go back in with Riff again. I just want to catch up to what I'm doing at the top. Next up, I'm going to be taking Howl Ride. Oopsie. I'm going to be taking Howl Ride, which is this vivid, um, um, what can I call that? like I don't know I'm going with hair right and I'm gonna concentrate this a little bit more guys how pretty is that I definitely feel like I could intensify this even more so I'm looking at the palette now and I was hoping for a shade just a little bit um, deeper than this the next one would be like this black but that'll be just too dark so I'm gonna look behind me and see if I have an eyeshadow palette that can just take this to another level okay I think I found one I'm going into my Urban Decay um, Naked Heat Palettes and I'm reaching for this color here. I'm going to take a more detailed brush and go into the shade called Ashes and really get into there and just intensify this halo. I'm going back in with my concealer and just, just getting in there. Um, I'm taking it up here. 
I'm gonna go back in with Howlride and just begin my gradient effect going in. And then I'm gonna go in with a Wild Heart here. You know what? I don't know. I'm not too crazy about the pink. I'm gonna try and see if I can go over this again. Yeah. I was starting from scratch. I'm going back in with Howlride and just kneading, neatening this up a little bit because as I was putting that pink on, I realized that I should have just stuck with my guns and gone for like the nudie coral or like nudie peach that I originally wanted to do. So I'm going to go in with the shade called Still Shot, which is this one here. And hopefully this turns out good. Like I'm going to pack this on. Still Shot is a little bit harder to get onto the eye, it seems like. On my lower lids, I'm going to go in with Howlride and just make that my my lower lid color. So like I was saying, Karen is just so, um, she just seems so sweet and I mean it was an intimate dinner. But she really took the time out to like chat with everyone individually and so on and such. I'm generally awkward in those situations and if I have to chat to her for too long, I'll just end up making a fool of myself. <laughs> so we just took pictures together and whatnot. I'm going back in with my um, Naked Heat palette and I'm taking ashes again. And I want to really intensify that lower, the lower lid. Honestly, I think I'm happy with that. I think I can move on to eyelashes. So I also have some lashes here from Eyelash Boutique. Um, I'm going to use the ones that I've used before. I mean, her lashes are really pretty. I think I also am going to do a wing. So I'm going to take my Dior liner and go on and do a wing. I'm going to go for my Benefit Big Bang Mascara. Bag, bag Girl Bang Mascara. Okay, back to lips. I have lined my lips. I'm giving myself juicy lips today. And I'm taking my Ofra Cosmetics lip look at lipstick. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Myth, which is my favorite nude lip gloss. I like using this lip gloss over like a matte a liquid lipstick because if the lipstick beneath it is too creamy, it won't sit properly. And that you guys is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Yes, I didn't go for the green eye that a lot of people seem to be going for with this eyeshadow palette. Um, I definitely didn't want something too heavy because I actually am off to somewhere. But I think it came out really, really beautifully and I really, really, really love it. My final thoughts on the palette, I really think it's a gorgeous palette. I really also think it's worth the coin. The only light color I used was Still Shot. And because I was using that as a lid color, because I really wanted that lid to pop because I was creating a halo eye, I really had to work my brush in there and really just get as much as 
as much product out as I could just so that it can really pop on my lids and I really think having a, a winged eye really just pulled the look together and I kept the burgundy purple shades on my lower lid as well on my lower lash line as well otherwise that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you comment like and subscribe if this look was up your alley let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time Bye.